There is an ancient Gaelic word, aum, and it means time, but it also means the passing of time and also the right moment to do something, you know, the right, but also opportunity. So all of that in one little word. And it's actually very similar to another Gaelic word, ancient Gaelic word, and that's this one, anam. Anam means soul. So we have aum and we have anam, aum and anam very similar words and it's kind of interesting that they're so similar because of course the two concepts of time and soul are connected both are eternal and both are very personal you know we all have our own personal soul and we all have our own personal perception of time and when the right moment comes and what opportunities we might have we all get our own in this life. And also, and that's the other interesting thing about them, is most of us don't become aware of this connection until something really dramatic happens in our lives. I was no different, of course. I also thought that I have all the time in the world, that I will, well, not quite live forever, but I have a lot of time to do all these things that I wanted to do, so it was okay to put things off, it was okay to live in the future and not to think about the present so much, until, of course, something dramatic happened to me and those of you who know me know what happened which is that one day I drove along on a road in Cork in the south of Ireland when all of a sudden I had this stab this in to my chest or so it at least it felt as if a knife had been lodged into my solar plexus and about 24 hours later they wheeled me into an operating theater and they told me you may well not wake up from this surgery and I remember thinking, what? But it can't be over. I can't be out of time. I still have so many things I want to do. And my son was only six months old at the time. And this was a real harsh wake up call, I can tell you. But it caused me to start thinking more about the connection between Anam and Aum, because only if we use our Aum well, and we grab at the opportunities that life has for us, then our soul is going to be happy when it is time to go, when we're out of time. What can we do to get this connection more and to feel more alive? Because that's what it's about ultimately, that we become aware of our souls and of time. And it's actually really not difficult, it's quite a simple thing that you do. You don't stop time because you can't of course, but you can stop. And I know you're very busy, you know, don't get me wrong, I know people have busy lives, I have a busy life, but that's why well, it's particularly important to say, well, I take some time out, I stop, and I say, okay, I take a few deep breaths, you know, in through your nose and out through your mouth, and say, I'm here now. I'm feeling what? Am I hungry? Does my back hurt? Are my shoulders up? Are they down? How am I feeling? Am I sad? Am I tired? You know, just become aware. Don't judge. You know, just become aware because awareness of yourself, of your body, means also becoming aware of time. I know it sounds crazy, but that's how you do it because all of a sudden you have actually managed to slow down and when you slow down, Time slows down a little bit too. And in those few moments, you feel the connection between your anam and the time passing. And you also feel much closer to the joy that is out there, that we often don't perceive either anymore, that we are still here, we still have and a soul because we still have time to live our lives, to grab at opportunities and to be happy with where we are and what we do. So try that for a few days and see if you can feel a difference. Then please post under this video. I'd love to hear from you, your experiences with this. And um, if you enjoyed this video, then please sign up to my channel so that you get notified when I release my next video where I share some ancient Celtic wisdom with the world.